On today's video, we have a minivan camper tour. Well, hey guys, today we have Cora and she lives in her minivan. So what year is this, Cora? It's a 2011 Toyota Sienna. Oh, that's nice. It's, it's real nice. Okay. So do you mind showing us around? Come on, y'all. We'll start off with the front seat. Okay. Basically, all I have in my front seat are some a couple solar lights, two gallons of water, and a camping chair. Also, I have my sunshade, but I have it up right now because it's like 200 degrees outside. But yeah, it's, well, I also have like a fan, a hand fan right there because my, my vehicle is not hybrid, so I can't have it running all the time for AC. So sometimes I just have to be uncomfortable and deal with it. So I have my mask and my, my fan right there. And that fan works real nice too. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Looks really roomy in there. Yeah, it's really nice. Can we take a look at your inside? Check it out. All right. Look at that. You got a lot of space. Oh, yeah. Tons of space. That's why I love the minivan. Tons of space. Okay. So, I have these plastic containers. These, like, little shelf kind of containers from Walmart. So, I have also this, what is it, a step stool? and it opens up like this and it also goes all you got to do is pull the lever and it goes flat so it's broken though i need to get a new one <laughs> but it works really good it works really good and i i enjoy them so i'm just gonna sit on this while i talk to you guys okay so first we have here my clothes this whole thing is full of my clothes so i have undergarments here i also have a a brace for my back because, you know, I have back problems and it helps. A couple scarves but and perfume. But So my undergarments, my gym clothes, and some dresses in here. And then I have my regular pants in here. And in here, I have my rice cooker with some plastic bags. I have my kitchen essentials in here. I have a couple of these containers and all kinds of good stuff. And then some seasonings, uh, cutting board, all that good stuff. This bottom one here is all my food. So I have coffee, I have pasta, I have crackers, oatmeal, a bunch of canned goods. It, it's really good. I can always heat those up in the rice cooker too. Right here, I have some uh, baby wipes, toilet paper, towels, all that good stuff, paper towels. Right here, I have my art supplies. I also have art supplies in the back, and I'll show you that later. But here's my art supplies, and here's my extras, like makeup and hair stuff. Up here, I have a container, and these are lightweight, so it doesn't really affect these, but I have a container full of my shoes, which I only have about four pairs of shoes in here. And then here, I have some extra art stuff, like canvas and all that good stuff. This is my... My gym bag, I take to the gym every day for my showers. Here are my clothes, my shirts that I wear like on the daily. I have my jackets back there that I'll show you later. So I have some more art stuff, another portfolio. And right here, I secured all of this with bungees. So right here, this little basket is where I put my fruit. And this came in here, which is my igloo cooler. And it's really nice. And uh, it came with this thing, but I thought, you know what, I eat mainly a lot of fruits and vegetables. So why not put this up here and use this space for like my food I can just heat up. So yeah, I really like this idea. It doesn't move anywhere and it's really nice. And I recommend for these, because it's plastic on plastic, I recommend you get these, uh, I forgot what they're called, but it non-slip kind of rolls. They come in rolls and just put that on there and it's really nice. This is my bucket I use to use the restroom. Really, I, I use this cup and then I use this bucket to catch everything. I've, I've learned how to use the cup now, but just in case if, <laughs> if I need it, I have this bucket and nothing will get on the floor. So then I have this Febreze in case I need that. And I have a pillowcase that's on top of my, my makeup bag I use for uh, dirty clothes. This is my like my little laundry hamper kind of thing it's just a pillowcase and it works really well 
because I can also wash the pillowcase with it. So it works out. And so here is my bed. My covers is so comfortable. My mom got me this and it's very nice. I love it. And it's basically a 24 inch trifold mattress, but I only use two of the two out of three of the, the mattresses that are built in it. So I can't stretch out all the way. I have to be in a fetal position, but I can move my legs to the side here and it, I can put my put them under my blanket and everything. I'll still be warm or I can put my legs to the side right there and it works out great works out real great and I have cup holders on the sides and right here I have a little uh it's like a little container here I'll show you you see that it's like you can put stuff in it a little container kind of thing built in in the van I put my medicine there and this one is full of toilet paper and then I have just my waters and some decorations my friends got me these these and this one's really cute it has a little reef on it and then my mom had got me this a long time ago. But let's move on to the back. This is the back. So in the front and the back, I have uh, these, what are they, curtains that I have paracord and I put these office clips in here. So you can see they hold on really well. They hold on really well. But I'll just move these for you. Move them really quick for you. All right, so I have a hanger that's right here. I usually just, I don't know. I don't really need this hanger. I can just donate it or something. But uh, I have my blankets here. You see, I have some extra fluff right here. Uh, I'm thinking about throwing that away, but I can move my legs right here. I can just move my legs to the side and they fit really nice. But I put this on just so I'm extra comfortable, I guess. And it fits perfect. This right here, I have secured by this hook and it doesn't move anywhere. It's, this is my go bag, my bug out bag. Then I have a safe there for paperwork. And these are my jackets. I just figured put them in the back because I don't get to them often, especially because it's getting hot now. And this is my sleeping bag and that I have connected these things. I put the big bungee cord through them and I also hang these with the bungee cord. I put them through my, uh, what is it, seatbelt buckle thing right there as you can see right here i put them through there and uh yeah right here is some more extra art supplies a milk crate full of it and then right here is a milk crate with a little bit of art supplies on the bottom some paper and then i have my instant pot right there and this bag is full of extra hygiene but yeah that's that's the back and i'll show you the the other door on the other side so you just keep your curtains on there all the time yes i keep my curtains and i have uh, window covers on the sides the side windows on all the time i never take them off unless i'm on highways which well going for long distance i take them off and then i just put them back on whenever i'm about to uh, park but other than that, when I'm in city, I don't, I don't, so this is the other side of the door where my containers are. So this is where my, some of my dresses and my shirts hang, they hang over here and they have plenty of space. Right here, I have a hammock. As you can see, there's plenty of room for it to just hang there. I could put more stuff, but I'm trying to live minimalistically and not have to deal with all that. So right here, I have a bungee cord. I have bungee cords that are securing this from opening or moving around anywhere while I'm driving. And I have another bungee cord that hooks onto that that holds my table. Now, if you look behind my table, I have a portfolio and I have more paper. It's just hanging there. And this is really big paper and a clipboard. But yeah, that's just hanging there and it doesn't move anywhere. It doesn't bang anywhere, you know. I, I drive fairly safe, so, you know, it's not gonna go anywhere regardless, but you know. But it's, it's really nice and everything's organized really well. I don't have any problems with anything. But I just have my sunshade, a camping chair, and two water jugs. Also my, my little lights, my little solar lights. 
Well, your curtains cover pretty well. Yeah, yeah, they're they're really good. And uh, you can check out Tim's channel. His name is Mo Bang for your buck. And he is the one that taught my mom and I to use these clips, these office clips, and just stuff them in these little crevices. And they work. They work great. They work really great. Just hang them real good. So Cora, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Are you like full-time, part-time, and uh, how do you make money? Well, for the longest time I was part-time because my mother had a house and then I bought her house and she was living with me and then from there I sold the house and we're both living in our cars now. So we are full-time and I'm full-time in my van and she's full-time in a Prius, so check out her videos. She does really great videos too. And for work, what I do is I sell art. I uh, do Etsy, and then I have a TikTok where I go live, and you know I get tips from that. And I plan on going live on my YouTube too. So hopefully, I'll get that going. And yeah, I'm almost I'm almost there to start getting income from YouTube. So what's your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is Minimalist Cora. Nice. Well, thank you for the interview, Cora. Thank you for having okay. me. And thank you for showing us around your tiny house on wheels. Yes, my very tiny house. Is there anything else you want to let us know? Um, well, I recommend I recommend the Toyota Sienna. I do. It's it's really stealthy. And I mean, as you can see, if, if you know anything about van life, you, you would think, you know, if you see curtains, which people have asked me about my curtains, and then I tell them, yeah, I live in here, and then they're, oh, that's cool, or, you know, whatever they have to say. But, uh... If, if you don't really know about van life or anything like that, car life, you're not going to really tell that someone's living in here because I don't have much in my front seat. I used to have a lot in my front seat, but like food and all that, but I'm like, ah, you know, I'm trying to be as stealthy as I can. So yeah, you can't really tell that someone's living in here, you know, I have everything blacked out and it looks really nice. So I do recommend the Toyota Sienna. You can sit in it use the restroom change all that good stuff in it and yeah i have actually i have a video that i'm uploading right now it's 10 reasons why i recommend the toyota sienna so if you want to check out that video i named 10 reasons why i prefer the toyota sienna so i would love for you guys to check that out and okay, go check out her channel minimalist cora on youtube thank you thanks have a good one cora bye bye Thanks so much for watching guys and I will catch you on the next one.